guys want a limited edition Marvel Spider-Man 2 PS5? Don't answer that. I know you do. Thankfully, I'm teaming up with Power Up Gamers to give away one of these bad boys, okay? Yes, I got it right here, and it's going to be in one of your guys' hands. Head to that Instagram link in the description box below to learn more about how to enter the giveaway. Potential spoilers for Marvel Spider-Man 2 ahead. I know a lot of people out there have already beaten the game. That's awesome. That's great. I hope you guys enjoy this video. But for those of you who haven't, you have been warned. I know you guys have been enjoying the hell out of Marvel Spider-Man 2. I'm so glad that everyone now has it available. We can all play it and experience this freaking masterpiece. But there's still so much news out there to talk about for Marvel Spider-Man 2 and as well, what's beyond from Insomniac Games. You know, of course, we love the Spider-Man franchise. Everyone is all in on Insomniac's take on the webhead. I think they did such a great job with Spider-Man PS4, an amazing follow-up in Miles Morales, and now they've really knocked it out of the park with Marvel Spider-Man 2. But we also know that Insomniac is out there working on another Marvel franchise. You see, at the same time that they announced Marvel Spider-Man 2, they also officially announced that they're working on a freaking Wolverine game. For real, that is still one of the most mind-blowing reveals in recent memory. I, I can't believe it. I'm pinching myself to this day that that's actually a real thing. It's almost as insane as if, like, if you were to hit the thumbs up button in this video or something. And although we're all sitting here with pretty much certainty that there's going to be at some point in the future a Marvel Spider-Man 3, we're also wondering what else Insomniac could do within the Marvel world. And the folks at Insider had a chance to sit down with John Paquette over at Insomniac Games and ask him a little bit about Venom in Marvel Spider-Man 2 and the future of Insomniac. First of all, John Paquette in the interview here mentions, I want this to be one of the best Venom stories you've ever experienced. We'll see what the reviewers have to say. The game's senior narrative director, John Paquette, told Insider in a recent interview. John, you guys, you nailed it, okay? This is absolutely one of the best interpretations of Venom that we've ever seen. It was also mentioned in this article that it was Brian Intahar who actually came up with the idea to cast Tony Todd as the voice of Venom for this game. John Paquette says here in the interview, he probably saw a new Candyman trailer or something. He heard the voice and was like, hey, what about Tony Todd? He texted everybody and was like, what do you guys think? And we're like, oh my God, that would be amazing. And amazing it is was the full performance that tony todd gives here is unbelievable i mentioned in my review but to reiterate as menacing and as massive and intimidating of a presence venom is in this game when it comes to physicality all of that doesn't work it all doesn't come together properly without the voice of tony todd behind the character so yes venom is a scary monster in this game don't get it twisted but he's not nearly as scary without Mr. Tony Todd doing that voice. But you see, this is where it gets juicy. A big answer here, a bombshell even, about something we could expect in the future. They mentioned here over on Insider's article, when asked about the possibility of a Venom spin-off game in the same vein of 2020 Spider-Man Miles Morales, Paquette said they're waiting to see the reaction from the fans. Now, hold up, okay? People have been sitting here wondering, you know, could we get a Venom game that, again, is on that smaller scale like Spider-Man Miles Morales? A lot of people would love the opportunity to just free roam around the open world as Venom. But a direct quote here from John Paquette reads, so here's what we're doing. We're focusing on Spider-Man 2, and what we're going to do is we're going to wait to see how the fans react. We're going to listen to the fans, and we're going to ask ourselves, okay, what do the fans really want? He continued to mention here, we'll kind of talk about stuff after we've all had time to sleep and take vacations. The Insomniacs need some sleep, guys. Okay, they put in a ton of work into Marvel Spider-Man 2, and talking about what next is not something we're gonna hear about for a little while. But that quote there is a lot of hope that a Venom game could become a reality. I mean, the idea of John Paquette sitting there and saying, you know, they're gonna wait to see what the fans' reaction is to Venom and Marvel Spider-Man 2, and then take it from there, that's just incredibly promising because all the reactions I'm seeing online to Venom and Marvel Spider-Man 2 from the people who have played the game so far, I mean, it's been pretty much unanimous that this is an incredible take. People love what Insomniac has done with Venom and Marvel Spider-Man 2. I love what they have done with this character in Marvel Spider-Man 2, and I would definitely enjoy the opportunity 
opportunity to get a full game or at least a Spider-Man Miles Morales sized game for the character. Plus, when you think about it, you know, they already have the symbiote move set for Peter. A lot of those moves you can apply to Venom as well and then just expand upon them a little bit, make them a bit more brutal because Venom is kind of this massive monster. But there's plenty of assets that they can already utilize to have this be something that doesn't take like four or five years to make. That's the point. That's the purpose of a Spider-Man Miles Morales sized game. They aren't meant to be these gigantic AAA games. They use some of the same assets from the previous game to help expand upon the world to help create more lore and then in general just give us another game in a smaller amount of time me personally i would absolutely take more smaller budget superhero games if it means that we can get them more frequently and if they're of the quality of something like spider-man Miles morales then i'm happy the insider article here continues to mention that paquette said the team behind spider-man 2 drew inspiration from venom's storied comic book history which could also serve as inspiration for a venom centric story and I mean, definitely some of the more recent Marvel comics, there's a lot of new history for Venom. There's a lot of stuff that can be explored for the character narratively, gameplay wise. He's not just a dude with the symbiote that's angry at Spider-Man. That's a big part of the character, don't get me wrong. And Marvel Spider-Man 2 explores that in a lot of ways, but there's layers. I mean, literally layers to Venom. We'll just have to wait and see. Marvel Spider-Man 2 is out now. So even if there's gonna be a Venom game, we're probably not gonna hear about it or even know it exists for a couple of years. But as always, just know, if a Venom game does get announced, I've got you covered right here on this channel, just like I'll have you covered when that Wolverine game ends up having its marketing pick up. So make sure you're subscribed, make sure you got those notifications on, tons of Marvel games and Marvel games content coming your way. And with that being said, let me now kick it to you guys. Sound off with your thoughts in the comments section below. What do you think about a potential Venom game? Do you want it to happen? Do you hope Insomniac are the ones to make it? And do you think that what John Paquette is saying here in this interview potentially hints that it's something they're going to do? The full interview, if you want to read it for yourself, is going to be linked in the description box below. And with that being said, I've been Caboose, and I'll see you guys later.